We've been doing this since um, the mid 80s, I, I, I guess, about 30 years, 25, 30 years. It's just something that uh, just just happened. We got, got a dog and wanted to show it and uh, went from there. My name is Ann Lord, and we breed and show dogs, raise dogs. It, it's a, really a full-time job. Sometimes there aren't enough hours in the day. You're, you're always you know, thinking of, of the dogs, um, putting them out, bringing them in, cleaning, washing, feeding, grooming. It's, it's an ongoing 24 hours a day. Their swimming pool. 26 hours a day, some days. A lot of our dogs are co-owned by other people, so they come and go. Some of the dogs get along well with, with each other. Some dogs uh, I can't put out with other dogs. So yes, you have yes, to yes, watch yes. them as they play and interact to decide how, how they're going to get along. And any dogs that are coming in, like Brownie, she yes. just came this morning. This one, yeah. She would be perceived as the other, from the point of view, uh, the other dogs would look at her and say, well, you're an outsider. They all have their own personality. They're like kids. They're all children. <laughs> Some of them are bad children, but... try to start evaluating as soon as they're born and you watch them as, as they grow. Sometimes you think you have a beautiful puppy and when it matures, yep. it kind of falls apart. Yep. So but sometimes it will come all together. It's, it's like uh, uh, looking at a child and looking at a teenager and then looking at the adult. They go through various stages. You have to know your breed standard too. Your, you know what the dog should look like, what what the ideal dog should look like, and then you compare your dog to what you imagine the ideal dog is. What you're looking for is this the lower jaw to come out over the upper jaw, and the judge checks that. Well, uh, to get a dog ready for show, um, it's not something you, you do just the day before the show. A lot of it is training beforehand, and actually with the, those three dogs, we started last year training them with handling classes, so they you know, have some experience in the ring. But this is the first time they've been out this year. So it remains to be seen how well they'll behave in the ring. But um, it's not only the training of the dog, um, but also the, the grooming. And um, we'll do some grooming with them before the show. There is quite a bit of grooming, and I didn't really realize that when I first started showing Boston. Uh, we were down at a show in um, Massachusetts. And uh, I had, had this pretty little girl I was showing. And I went in the ring and uh, was beaten. And coming out of the ring, um, this uh, older lady who had beaten me uh, followed me. And she said, uh, now, if you groomed that dog, um, she would look so much prettier. And I thought, OK. So she proceeded to show me how how she groomed dogs. She was an old-time breeder um, from you know way, way back. The next day we went in, in the ring and I beat her. <laughs> so that, that was good. Next weekend is the first show that we've gone to this year. And so we're looking forward to getting away and uh, enjoying the show. And hopefully the weather will be good. It's an outside show, so we're excited to get ready to go.
fifteen dollars for hunting or a point dog. It's fun. If it wasn't fun, we wouldn't still be doing it. Um, we've traveled a great deal with the dogs, met a, a number of, of different people, nice people, and um, made a lot of friends over the years. And uh, it's, it's fun for us to, to do. Competition is great, um, but really it's, it's the people and the dogs that keep us doing it, I guess. It's an expensive hobby, but we enjoy it. What do you think? Good. What do you think? Awesome. How did you think this day went? It's going pretty good. It's good, it's good. What do you think, Robin? Puppies. Robin was so excited. Do you think Robin is more excited than us? We're driving back. <laughs> I love Spreading dogs. Yeah. In a place where there's no gas station for like.